Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me and welcome back to The Last Oasis where in the last update we got the volcanic map which has the uh, the flyers, the killings, and we also have two new resources. We've got feathers from the flyers and we have lava from the brand new volcanic map. So the problem guys that you're going to find, the challenge you're going to find, not a problem but a challenge, is obsidian now. Obsidian is a whole different thing now because you're not going to be able to find it in the pools at the moment. They might bring them back later on. So if you're seeing this later on uh, down the road after several patches, this might change. But we used to be able to get your, your obsidian from these lava pools. You'd cool them down with a hose station. And right now you can't not get obsidian right now because you need to make an obsidian container to hold your lava. So that's the thing right there, is you're going to have to make yourself one of these obsidian flasks to be able to collect your lava. And then you're going to need a bigger obsidian container to hold more than just 20 lava. That, that flask only holds 20 lava, but this right here is the obsidian canister. You open it up, and we're going to see how much it, it holds. This is the biggest one that you can use right now that you can get. And let me go ahead and show you where those are on your crafting tree here. So you go into Equipment. And you go past the bone bottle, and that's where the obsidian flask is. It only t costs one tablet to get. However, your you go over to this tree right here, and let's see, let's drop down right here. There we go. And right past the large water container, you're going to find the obsidian canister. That's the big one. The, sm the medium-sized one or the smaller one is the obsidian pot. That obsidian pot only costs three tablets. This one costs six. I went ahead and went with that because... It's the larger of the two, so I thought I'd go ahead. It takes 100 obsidian for that. The other one only takes 38 obsidian, and then it takes how much? I think it's like 10 obsidian for the flask. Obsidian flask takes 10 obsidian, yeah. So uh, to get both of those, it took me 110 obsidian, but I couldn't get it from here. Because they didn't exist. So let's go over to the crater map, guys. We have to go to the crater map. I'm going to go ahead and just log out here. I'm going to switch over. I'm on my private server. Finally got that thing working once again, at least kind of. Although Nitrato and, and Donkey Crew, you guys have got to get your act together and talk to each other. Because it's not working very well at all. So let's go ahead. Let's transfer over to the lobby. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change over to the crater map and show you how you can get your obsidian from your regular rocks over at the crater map. Okay, guys, and we are here on the crater map. We're right, in the, right toward the center is where you're going to find your obsidian nodes, and they're going to look like uh, this. So it, uh, they're going to look, it, it looks like the, any other rock, only they're a little darker, and they, 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 you'll be able to tell them once you get, get the hang of it, you'll know what they look like. There's obsidian right there. I'm going to get, you know, between 20, oh, I get 50? Wow, dude, that's really good. That's the most I've ever gotten. 70, shut up. Shut the front door. Uh, now, on a regular server, this is a times 10 server, guys. So on a regular server, you're going to get one-tenth that. So I would have gotten seven obsidian. So it's going to take you a minute to get with the obsidian you need. But once you do, head on over to the volcanic map, and I'll show you what you're going to need to do from there. All righty, guys. And once you're over here on the volcanic map, you're going to want to have several things with you besides the flask and the pot. You're going to want to go ahead and make sure that you have uh, an extra bit of... A extra bit of torque on you because if you get close to the killing birds that's what they're called or killings if you get close to them they will shred your wings flat out shred your wings so if you need to get out of there you need to move your your walker you're going to need to have some extra torque on you just in case so if you don't have any torque built up and you don't i would suggest having extra torque on you i would also suggest that you have everything that you need to replace your wings just in case your wings go away just in case those killings they will shred your wings that's their job. That's what they do. Okay, so be aware that that is a thing. You know, there are wide roads here. You can bring in, uh, you know, big walkers, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, but if I were you, I'd probably want to go in on a spider. But be careful because the lava will eat the spider's legs really fast. So I would be, you know, be aware that the lava will destroy the legs on your walkers. So if you don't have the stuff to replace the legs on your walkers and the wings on your walkers then this is a really dangerous map probably arguably the da most dangerous map that they put out so far um not gonna get close to those birds so i think i'm gonna be okay we're gonna hit one of these roads and i may have to flip this walker here in a second maybe not maybe not we'll make it lucky make it lucky there we go all right there's a killing right ahead of me see he's, he's, he's flying right there i don't know if you, can, you guys can see him or not 
but he is he will make a beeline for my walker and he will try to shred my wings but also i you're going to need to have bandages on you guys because you're going to take damage every time you go go to collect the uh, lava so you're going to need bandages to heal yourself up if you want multiple um if you want like multiple trips of lava you want to make sure you have plenty of bandages on you so you can go ahead and heal up between uh between cycles so let me go ahead let me just look at my map real quick all right so we're going to head to this one over here there's not too many of those killings on the map, so it's not a bad, not a, you know, not too bad. I mean, obviously you can take them out with a repeater or you, or a ballista, and it might be what you want to do. Uh, right at the moment, I'm not going to bother with that. We'll do that in a different video. I'll go killing hunting in a different video, and then we'll also look at the weapons and the bombs that you can get from this lava in a, in another episode as well. We're, right now, that we're just going to show you how to collect the lava. It's really super easy, we're, and once you have the materials, you can just run in, grab it, and run back out. All right, guys, now once you make it down to the lava pools, I wouldn't go any further than this. May, I mean, you might be able to get down on this black sand without any damage, but if my, my legs start to catch fire, we really gotta watch out. I would just stay a good distance away. Actually, you know what, this is pretty cool right here, because there's a lava pool right here next to this uh, safe sand right here. We're just going to stop right here. Don't go close to the lava pools. You'll lose your legs. And keep an eye on the sky because you never know. I don't think the killings come this close, but they might. But I think we're going to be all right. So make sure you're full health right off the bat. And then you can just walk up to the pool of, of lava right here. You're going to take damage. Oh, my God. You don't take that much damage. There we go. We got 20 lava. And I think that's all you can actually collect. Let's go ahead and double check that right quick. Don't think I can get any more than that. Yeah, see, okay, now it puts it right here. You know what you could do? You could actually just collect this until you got down really super low on your health, and then you could heal yourself. Matter of fact, I think that's what I'll do. All right, now the uh, eclipse has passed. I'm going to show you how much this actually holds. The large canister, guys, is going to hold 900 lava because this is a 300 stack, so I'm not going to fill it any more than this. I'm just going to be plenty for my, my use for right now. We'll come back if I need any more. I'm going to load this back up to the, to the dinghy, and then we're going to head on back to the house. But I just wanted to show you how to collect lava. In, let me show you on the, on the tech tree here. As far as uh, equipment goes, you're going to be able to make a couple of things here. So you've got like the Firestone long blade, things like that, guys. There are a few things that you can make tool-wise that are going to require lava. Now, there's not there's not a lot here, but there is a few things. There's a, a Firestone uh, Boss Doggin, Firestone Axe. I'm not going to go through those right now. We'll probably make them because I have the lava. But the one thing that, I, that I, I'm going to uh, show you here is we have the uh, the firebomb, which requires beeswax, beeswax, lava, and feathers. I actually have been harvesting feathers from Rupu camps for a long time. So I've got like 40 or 50 feathers back at the house. I don't really need to go kill a killing right now, but I will just to show you how it's done uh, in a future episode. We're not going to do that in this one, but there's also, there's the, this is the handheld firebomb that you can throw. And then you also have the explosive dart, which it goes into a repeater. It takes feathers, lava, and wood shafts. Actually not very cheap because it's 16 feathers per explosive dart. But then you also have a floating mine, which is after being shot, starts slowly falling down vertically, exploding on impact with anything, creates a wall of mines when shot repeatedly. So lava definitely has its place in the game now, guys. It's definitely something you're going to want to go ahead and get if you have the opportunity to. But make sure that you are very careful when you're when you're gathering this stuff, especially if you're solo, because you've got the Rupus to deal with. Although I didn't have to deal with them just now, but you're also going to have to deal with other players because if you're taking damage, then that's an opportunity for them to sit back and just wait for you to get low on health and to come in and try to kill you off or you know, and steal all your stuff. Alrighty, guys. Well, I think that's going to do it. Lava has a place in the game now, and that's how you're going to gather it. Hopefully, it was simple for you. Hopefully, you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, let's do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.